of drawing conventions that I want you guys to be aware of. Okay, so I'm going to start with something called line weight. Okay, so in architecture, we, it's not in architecture, actually, it's just in drawing in general. Very often, you try to use about three different line thicknesses to represent what you're drawing. Okay, and you use the different thicknesses of line. It's not the density of the line. So a lot of you think with pencil, if you push less heavily, it's going to be lighter. Imagine that you're using an ink pen, right? With an ink pen, it's, it's either black or white, right? You're not going to be able to go, well, I'm not going to push real hard so I get a light line. It's the thickness of the line that, that we're talking about, not the intensity of the line. So there are thin lines, right? There are medium lines. And then there are thick lines, which with the case of this, I'm going to have to do it by kind of drawing a second line. Okay? And I can also demonstrate that with a pencil or with a pen. So thin, medium, and thick. All right. So one of the things that I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to give me a, a representation of that just on regular old 8.5 by 11. Right, using a pencil, so you guys are going to have to show me. I want them to all be equally dark, right? So don't try pushing really lightly with the pencil. You've got to figure out how to make a thin line that's really dark with the pencil. Okay, so this is one of the conventions that I want you guys to sort of think about because you're going to be using this in the context of studying the architecture, the drawings and stuff. <clears throat> the second thing I want you guys to be aware of is line types. Let's see that. Yep, it is. So this is line weight, right, line thickness. And then the other one is line type. And so in architecture, we often use about, we use many different kinds of lines to represent different things. But um, three common ones are going to be a continuous line, a line of dashes and dots, or dashes and lines, and dashed lines. And dashed lines can actually come in different flavors, and so you can have dashed lines that are very long, okay, or you can have dashed lines that are very thin. And oftentimes they're used for to, to dictate different things. Okay? So um, the continuous line is used to typically show something that is solid and is there. All right? Um, this line that's a dash and a lo long dash and a tiny dash or short dash is often used to represent things that are imaginary, like a center line or an axis line. That is one that you will be using. The dashed lines are often used to represent something that is below where you are looking, okay, or above where you are looking. So imagine if, if there's, well, we can, you see these things up here? They're, they're air conditioning ducts, right? Or not ducts, but they're air conditioning registers. You guys all can picture like a, a round duct going over to it and plugging into it. So if we wanted to show that that is up there above the ceiling, we could show the room plan, we could show the ceiling plan, then we could dash in where those things are. Okay? Um, so I, I, I want to ask you guys to kind of, just on a sheet of paper, to represent line weight and line type, okay? Using probably a pencil. So we'll see what, what you guys come up with. I can, I can do it with just a regular pencil. Uh, and I can illustrate that for you guys. Is there any questions about that? No? All right. Let's see if this erases. Yeah. All right. I better stop the recording so it doesn't get too long. <laughs>